Welcome back to uh, Monkey and Manimals Gaming Expedition. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking Manimal. <laughs> mm. Here with Monkey Jones. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I love how I didn't even reference the Monkey and Big Show, his current fucking gaming channel. I referenced his gaming channel from fucking 20 fucking 16. Okay. Okay, current team. I literally did not- I was gonna grind Gojira off screen. I forgot to do it. So... So here we are. We got, we got Gojira. Boy, skinny penis. <laughs> <laughs> Gojira the Totodile. Delia the Mime Jr. El Tigre the Luxio. Pudding the Ch Monferno. Stone Cold the Geodude, and Puppo the... Leafeon? Leafeon. Do you have a Leafeon? I do. My... My fucking dude. Dude, alright, you need to get your head up and get it closer to me. I was comfortable. Well, fuck your comfort, we're recording. <laughs> get on the bike. Alright, now tell us some stories about your life. Uh, After I do this little girl's voice. Help! Help, trainer! Please! I want to see my papa! My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks, but then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. Wait a minute, what? They kicked me out and they're making my papa do something! Please, trainer! I miss my papa! He actually Does lied, he have he actually lied to you so he can, uh... Bang his mistress that he's cheating on your mom with. Yeah, I about to say, does he have his pants on? No, he does not have his pants on. Alright, tell us some stories about your life, Noah. What kind of stories do you want to hear? I don't know, Noah. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna say a word and you tell the first life story that comes to your mind. Okay. Garden. Oh my <laughs> god! Why that one? I don't okay. know, that's just a random word I picked. Okay. So I was outside uh, at my aunt's house, which she, wait, what the fuck? She owns. A I'm not supposed to be allowed to go here yet. She's. Can I just not save this little girl's dad? Can I just fully skip that part of the game? Can I? Can... I'm sorry. I just wanted to point out this is this is supposed to be blocked off. I'm supposed to save this kid's dad. Do I not have to do that? So anyway, okay. okay. I was at my aunt's house in Michigan. She's she even owns a gardening store. Oh. Okay. Okay. Continue. So when uh, I was at her house, uh, we were sitting in the backyard gardening, and it was really fun. So all I uh, hear is her teaching me how to do all this stuff. So and of course I'm listening and listening and listening. Then I feel something crawl along my hand. Gross. Yeah, and I freak out. I pull back, and I was like, "What was that?" He's like, "What? What was? It? No. What was that?" I was like, "Was that you?" No, that wasn't me. What are you talking about? And then I just look at my hand, and there's just slime trail across oh! my hand. Oh god, that's horrible. Yeah, and I just, I never found out what it was. It was. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got ordered to keep everyone out of if, if, if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay, then. You'll have to battle for it. So, I've always been terrified of, like, animals that aren't cats or dogs. Really? Like, literally any animal that's not a cat or dog, I'm probably scared of it. Yeah, I never actually found out what it was. Just the thought of it makes me gag. Ugh. Gross. Oh shit! Coach, you were actually doing some stuff. Ow. <laughs> Bitch, die. <laughs> yeah, fuck you! Just fucking slapping me in my snoot like that? Fuck off. What kind of stories do you also want to hear? Alright, Noah, um... Tell me a story 
about ice cream. <laughs> I do have one. Okay, tell it then. It's actually really, really bad. Oh boy. So, I was at a carnival. All right, no, you need to sit up and be like perpendicular to this phone. Okay, there we go. Anyway, I was at a carnival, I was having a good time, I just got off this little mini roller coaster. Jesus, fuck! Go ahead. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. And uh, so, I, uh, Get off this, and I'm feeling over, not over the top sick, but kind of disturbed. So when I uh, go uh, back off, and like, should I get some ice cream to help settle my stomach? Like, yeah. So I go to get this fucking ice cream cone, and uh, of course, uh, we're miles away from the door. So we have to like walk for hours, and we have to wait in line. So, once we get to the actual counter, I get my ice cream, and it's just like this really big one. And uh, this clown is just like walked up to me and said, uh, You enjoy your ice cream? I'm like, yeah. Turns out it was actually a killer clown from outer space, and he killed Noah on the spot. Hot up. And then uh, he said, uh, Okay. If you haven't already listened to my Killer Clowns from Outer Space, could I movie fucking review, finish? Can you not? I interrupt people sometimes, that's what I do. Don't get all mad, just fucking let me finish and then continue. If you haven't listened to the Riley Movie Review podcast on Killer Clowns from Outer Space, you should do that. <laughs> continue, Noah. So, uh, this uh, clown said, per really pervertedly, can I have some? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think anything of it at the time, so I handed it to him. So, and then he just grabbed it and chucked it. Oh my god! Yeah. What a dick! <laughs> yeah. What an asshole! So the next thing I did is I uh, got my mother and my mother fucking nailed him right in between the eyes. Oof! Yeah. I was like, damn! <laughs> and then forced him to buy me another ice cream cone. And made it even like three triple as big, so I I had a good time. <laughs> Aw, happy ending. Not for the clown, of course. Not got, for the clown. He got punched in the he got punched in the eyes, and then and I, spent like I, fucking twenty dollars on a carnival ice cream cone. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. You have any more carnival stories? I, I do. <laughs> Alright, tell us some carnival stories. Um, so, there was this little carnival, actually it was here, where there was just a lot of rides, surprisingly. So, and there was this one where you put in this, like, little circle of people, and then it just picks you up and spins you. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of that? Wait, uh, describe it one more time. It's just like this little wire cage. That you're put into it. And yeah, 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 I love that fucking shit. Yeah, I know, I loved it too. And there's a person next to me that apparently had a light stomach. <laughs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> so, at the, it got to the point where we were spinning I went like on one of those 50 while I was, miles an hour. I went on one of those while I had a stomach ache and I'm like, I'm going to throw up everywhere. Like, because we were about to leave, and I'm like, I really want to go on that ride, but I don't feel good. And somebody was like, just go on the fucking ride. And I was like, but I'm going to throw up everywhere. <laughs> and I think he said something to the effect of, you only live once. And I'm like, you know what? You fucking right. Fuck it. <laughs> we're doing this. So, Except I was like 13, so I didn't say fuck. Because I didn't swear when I was 13. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Noah is currently 13. Yeah. Um. So I, I walked... On the thing, thinking it's just gonna be a normal thing, because I already rode this like 15 times. Uh huh. Because I fucking loved it. And uh, I was just like, thinking it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. So the person next to me must have had a lot to eat or something and had a sick stomach. I don't know why he even did this. He 
screw up when you're going about 20 miles an hour spinning. Mm -hmm. It hit me, the per my friend sitting next to me, and my other friend sitting next to him, my cousin sitting next to him, and my mother sitting next to him. Ugh! And it was just, like, as soon as we all got off, we fucking surrounded him. We went off. It was... <laughs> you just fucking encircled him. Yeah, we were we were pissed off. Of course, he reflects right before I use bite on him. I have not a carnival story. Okay. But it has something to do with rides. <laughs> okay. If so this is about the time you found out you were gay and you ride a dick. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but I, was making, I went. I was making a joke. Last about year, that riding is, is sexual thing. I know. Last year, I went to Sea World on a field trip. Uh huh. You yeah, I told you about this. So the first one uh, roller coaster that I went on was something called. Wasn't Mason. I like trying to convince you to sneak me in with you or something? Yeah. Yeah, you were. And so the first one was Mako. It was called Mako. And after the shark, and I'm like, I was expect, and it was my first roller coaster ever. I'd never ridden a roller coaster in my life before this. So I was sitting here like, I guess it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun. And then as soon as I get on the cart and I look past the cart, and I just see a cascading line of just like pure almost straight up the build up oh god i'm like and i was Get already me off of this fucking thing <laughs> yeah and i was already buckled in i was strapped in i was ready to go i'm like when i was like halfway up the track I'm like fuck <laughs> get me off this fucking thing and the person couldn't hear me because they were in soundproof booth but <laughs> should have waved your arms like hey Hey you! Get me off of this! Yeah, I should have done that actually. But it wouldn't be that bad if the music wasn't Jaws. There was a literal <laughs> Jaws music. Like, da 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 I was ready for this shit, and I just look over the side and over the front of it. I'm, I just see straight down, 90 degree angle, fucking, and I wrote the sign. I feel like I would literally it, die of a heart attack if I tried no, to ride a roller coaster. No, but the thing, I didn't pay anything, pay any attention to it, but the sign in front of it said, warning, fast speeds and intense wind because max speed is 300 miles an hour. And that was when Noah started crying. Um, <laughs> was I right? No, wait, wait, oh, okay. wait. It comes in here on. So, <laughs> wait, actually, wait. So, I, my best friend at the time was sitting there with me, at, next to me. And I, when we were going down, I let out the loudest, high-pitched squeal you have <laughs> ever heard. <laughs> It was like a hamster getting its leg chopped off. It was that bad. <laughs> so I, I was just sitting there uh, screaming my absolute ass off. And Your absolute ass. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, after getting off of it, my hair was all like spiked up. It was so bad. It was so... Noah had gone Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I was just sitting there tearing up because my eye waters normally, if I'm just sitting still, my eyes water a lot. So, and with wind, uh, it doesn't make it any better. So my best friend at the time was uh, just like, asked me like, God damn are it. you okay? Like, yeah, I'm fine. And I said it very quickly, like, because my adrenaline was still going. Like, yeah, I'm fine. And it turned out Noah wasn't fine and he had sustained Massive brain damage, and that is how we got the Noah we know today. <laughs> so, 
And then uh, he went and told uh, my mother, which was also my uh, group chaperone. Well, yeah, that didn't work well. Wait, what did you done? I'm sorry, what did you do that was bad that your chaperone would be upset with? My mother. Just, it wasn't the best thing, because I wanted time away. <laughs> that did not help. And so, it was just fucking a mess. And so, I was just walking along. I wonder if Noah has once looked at the game during this entire <laughs> no, I have. recording. I've been watching it. Okay. So, I've been, uh, my mother walked up to me and said, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. Why? <laughs> And that's the end of my story. Uh, All right. My friend uh, went to my mother because he was concerned about me having a traumatic experience on a roller coaster. <laughs> and so the next one, I went to Bush Gardens for, and my friend, I stayed the oh, night. Oh, hold on, I have a roller coaster story real quick. Okay. You've been talking this whole time. Um, I've always been afraid of roller coasters. Why? I've only rode one roller coaster in my life, and it was the most, like, normie bitch roller coaster. It was the, um... Have you seen the Sand Serpent? Oh my god! That's the only roller coaster I've ever ridden. You! The Sand Serpent at Bush Gardens. Actually, the story uh, that I'm about to tell is not about the sand serpent. I was about to say, it really involves the fucking sand serpent? No, it was right next to the sand serpent. Have you okay. ever heard of Falcon's Fury? I have heard of Falcon's Fury. So, the whole time I'm there, everyone's just like... Isn't that like the I, worst roller coaster there? No. And by the worst, it's I not. mean like the scariest. I know it's the best, technically. But it's not a roller coaster, but... Oh shit, what is it then? It's That's... like one of those things that just picks you up and it's giant Oh, it's a towel. drop! Okay. Yeah. But the thing is, they, and uh, I went with friends. I didn't, I would stay the night at a friend's house, and uh, they were just like, the next day, they were just like, hey, wanna go to Bush Gardens? We should totally go to Bush Gardens sometime, Noah. Like, if I can get. You're going on roller coasters if you do. I'm not going on the big ones. I'll go on the fucking Sand Serpent. I don't even know if the Sand Serpent's still there. It is. Okay. But. The. thing is. I went with Falcon. I'll go on Falcon Fury. First... I didn't know it was a drop tower. I, I'll totally go on Falcon I Fury. hate those damn things. I love drop towers. There was one uh, where it's like this little tiny one tucked in the corner. Like, okay, maybe I'll go on that one. Uh, but this whole time they were like, Falcon Fury, I thought it was just a normal roller coaster. So when we finally get there and I look, and I just, we were waiting in line for this. And uh, I go outside and I look up. There's just a mile high tower. <laughs> and I'm like, oh hell no. Yeah, those are fine because nobody falls out of those. Those never get stuck. Or even if they do, you don't get stuck upside fucking down, like on a roller coaster. Wait, wait. I'm not done yet. Okay. <laughs> but the thing is about it, it doesn't just drop you. It points you straight down. Oof. Yeah, in the car. I'm just like, and I have this conversation with these random people waiting for people to get off of that ride. And they're just like, yeah, we're not stupid enough to go on that. I'm like, same. I'm not going on fucking up there. And I knew that my friends were terrified. Because uh, most of my friends have this very distinct squeal. <laughs> distinct? Yeah, and I just hear it very loud, and it's like, and they're still like very high up, and I, and it's just cascading, and I just hear that squeal, and I'm just like, yeah, see. All right, are we gonna fight the boss in this episode? Or are we gonna go extra time? So the boss is right there. I'm going on. Okay, yeah, we'll let Noah finish his story while we fight the boss, but let me do the dialogue first. Okay. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait, that's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what should we, we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. i continue. Um, uh, so, when, uh... 
Continue talking while I get my ass kicked by this boss. So, I, uh... Oh god, I'm underleveled for this too! So, anyway... Oh, shit! Okay. Um, I, uh... And uh, sitting there on the ground waiting for these people. And they get off and it's like... And I know that they were scared. I knew, because I... When they were even going up, I saw, I heard them squeal. And, uh... So they come down and it's like, you have to get on this. Like, no, I heard you dumbasses up there. <laughs> I'm not going up there. No fucking way. And so I went on afterwards. Um, I went on this thing, the sky, like the sky trail or the sky tram. And it's still very high going over the zoo part of uh, the park. So... We're looking down and we're making fun of uh, people which look like the animals down there. <laughs> Long story. <laughs> so, and then we look over and then there's just a tower. It's way, way taller. Do they update tech the, 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 the words? Then uh, they, uh, and then there's just the biggest damn thing. I still have pictures of it from the ground, and I could show you. It's fucking insane. Where, and I'm just like, even on the sky dream, I heard the thing drop, and I could hear people. Go fuck yourself. I could Thank hear you. people screaming from a mile away. I heard people screaming from a mile fucking away. And I'm just like, yeah, no fucking way I'm getting on that damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'll look at that. Look up, get a picture from the picture from my phone. Of the damn monstrosity that this is. No, I don't want to go here. I want to go there. Fuck. No, I do not want to go to fuck. Fuck! Not that one. Is it here? No. Um... Damn, my... that crypto! Hey, hey, Karoku, guess what? Guess what? What? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Where the fuck is my gallery? It's right fucking down here, okay. Um, okay, low kick... I think in most situations is better than my, uh, the rock smash. Which I cannot forget, so... I'm kind of tempted to get rid of Fury Swipes, but I don't okay, want to have three fighting moves. Um... Oh yeah, the stupid penguin that kept on running into the bus. I forgot about that. <laughs> I want to see that. Oh that's, wow. Yeah. I'll go on that. That's fucking awesome. You want to see the video with the stupid penguin? Yes, of course I want to see the video with the stupid penguin. Here's the video. He doesn't understand how glass works. <laughs> I would add it in post. I would have Jason added it in post, but he doesn't work for me anymore. So, you guys just get to imagine the uh, dumb penguin puffing into the glass. Yeah. And, um... Oh yeah, I took a picture of an elephant taking a shit. Gross. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, the people that I went with. Oh, cool. Yeah. And the thing is, the parents were just. Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright, though, I quite enjoyed our battle. My, my, lose to a child, will you? But no matter, we've collected plenty of electricity with the power we obtained. We can do something quite spectacular. 
It's quite obvious to me. Sharon, the genius even the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we shall be going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Anyway... No, I, there's still a lot of <laughs> Papa! Yuck! Papa, you're stinky! Go shower! Bruh, no! Because <laughs> he's been trapped there for like a week. Stinky as fuck. Oh, sorry, haha, <laughs> they had me working non-stop. Thank you, Twaina. You made those bad people go away. No, that's the, that's the po voice of the Pokemon Clover Kid. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. <laughs> Alright, now, anyway, continue. Anyway. Oh, hey, they took out poison damage outside of battle. That's cool. Oh, never mind. They just don't do the fucking... Dr -dr -dr. Okay, anyway, continue. Um, so I go to... Shit, nope, never mind. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes! It is you, yes! I have heard that the Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have therefore come running! So the Team Galactic, where are they? You have run them off, you say? You are a trainer, but... Very well, I shall go investigate inside. Could I anyway now? You can anyway now. Okay. So, the parents were way too fucking trusting. Nope. <laughs> I thought it was done. I really did. Magnificent. Yes, it is. What have you said? What you've said? It's all true. Superb. Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. Very well, I shall pursue the culprits. May I anyway now? I'll tell you when you can anyway. I have received tips that the Team Galactic hideout is in Interna City. To there, I must be off. Now you may anyway. The parents that took us on this trip were way too fucking trusting. They were, <laughs> they were just like, at the beginning of the park, they were just like, don't get any trouble. Uh, they hugged their kids and then they just said Good goodbye. And then we did not see them for the rest of the trip. We did not see the parents. They were just like, why are we, what the fuck? <laughs> There's nobody around. I'd love to fucking run around bush gardens with no adults. What are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. I was just very fucking confused. Hey, any, anything, and more, we lost. anything more to that story? Yes. Okay, continue. And we kept on losing each other. And uh, we were just like, we didn't even... You got two minutes. Once it hit 30 minutes, I really have to end it. <laughs> so uh, we were just like, we kept on losing each other. <laughs> we we had no idea where each other were sometimes, and it was just like, oh my fucking god, this is not gonna end well. Uh, so, one person at the end of the trip, at the end of the day, one person one person had wet toes, the other person uh, had uh, wet, wet toes. Yeah, what details, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ma mainly making that as a joke. Oh, okay. And they had four missing fingers. Uh, uh, their tongue was cut out. <laughs> um, uh, I had a, an arm cut off, and like it grew back. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like a starfish. <laughs> Regenerates his limbs. <laughs> okay, actually, but at the uh, we rode roller coasters the entire day. We were so fucking tired. But at the end of the day, uh, we were just like, Why is okay, this let's just the do, worst toe to die? Let's uh, just fucking do a water ride. Because we just wanted to cool off. It was very hot. It was like 100 degrees out, and we were just sitting there walking around. So uh, we were just like, okay, let's just go do a water ride. The first water ride, and I had my phone at this point. Because, you know, I could take pictures. And uh, I... <laughs> I had to hide my phone inside my water bottle, which was empty, by the way. <laughs> How'd you get it in there? It was a big, big water bottle. Okay. So, uh, it was in there, and uh, it was like this draft. 
that sprayed water everywhere. And there was people next to, on the walkway, right next to the river that we were rafting on, were in charge of water cannons. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> so uh, they were sitting us blasting us, and we were walking away, fully drenched, and uh, barely anyone had any water on them. But I was fuck. Me and my friends were fucking soaked. And uh, there was, was one point where we walked through. Oh, we didn't walk through. We went through a waterfall, and everyone was just fucking obliterated. <laughs> And uh, so, moral of the story is, don't drink and drive. <laughs> oh my god! Please tell me that was a Fire Red reference. Thank you. <laughs> don't drink and drive. I forgot about that! Uh -huh. What? Right. Gojira is evolving! That Pokemon's ass must be very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to part two of that Anarcius We Trust episode where we talked about the Pokemon that we wanted to fuck. Wait, what? <laughs> the last episode I did with Anarcius We Trust before I left again was, it was completely impromptu. The plan that night was for me, Cameron, and Bliss to record an episode about fucking, uh, something. Uh, what was it? Um, hold on. It was, the intention was to record an episode about legendary trios. And what ended up happening was I was on another show called The Cameron Clark Show with a bunch of people, three of which were Cameron Clark, obviously, because he ran the fucking Cameron Clark Show. Tomas of the Two Friends and X podcast, and that guy Foss, who I don't—he doesn't have his own podcast. He just runs around and goes on other people's podcasts. Um, so, like me, yeah. Even though I kind of had an idea for a podcast with you and Silas, that's not Riley and his idiot friends, since I'm literally having a show called up come out called the Riley and Friends Show, and those names are way too similar. <laughs> and so. I'll talk to you about that in a minute, but, um, yeah, anyway, to finish that story, during that recording, they found out I had a Pokemon podcast, we started, uh, Cameron Clark, I don't, I don't know if it was Cameron Clark, I think it was Cameron Clark, started bringing up sexual relations with Pokemon as a joke, and it turned, I was gonna, the intention was to sneak Cameron Clark, that guy Foss, and Tomas into the Anarcius recording secretly, but then Cameron is totally fine with it. And we all get in there and we do the whole episode on Pokemon We Wanna Fuck as a joke. I thought it was hilarious, but <laughs> my friend Patrick, on the other hand, <sighs> was so appalled that he literally said everyone involved should be banned from podcasting. What? Because <laughs> we spent an hour talking about having sex with Pokemon. <laughs> How do you spend an hour talking about that? I don't know, but this episode has ran like almost 15 minutes longer than it was supposed to. Next time on Game Grumps. Next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> Bye, everybody.